What is up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. Look who flew all the way down here from Virginia to come hang out. What is up? Matt from Gone Digging. If you are not subscribed to his channel, go check it out. The link's going to be below in the description. Today we're going to do something pretty cool. This is something I've always wanted to do and I've been teasing y'all with for months. He is a certified diver and guess what? He's going to be my diving partner today. So hopefully we're going to go out and find something pretty cool. And I'm going to be honest, we've already found something cool. So <laughs> it, it's going to be worth y'all's time. Just hang in there for the whole video. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to see a lot of stuff on the bottom of the creek. So let's go see what we can find. First find, we haven't even gotten the water. Getting rich. 2019. Oh, <laughs> man. It's not even crusty yet. No, oh, it is crusty already. Already. You ready? Okay. What's not shown in this video is this is actually our second attempt at diving here in two days. Just 18 hours before, the visibility was atrocious. We couldn't see a thing. We came back 18 hours later and the visibility had cleared up and we were able to get out and find some really cool stuff. <laughs> I got the official rod! <laughs> That's an old crown top top. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, we can see. I know, how about that? <laughs> I got me a Zebco Authentic Micro number 11. That's the good micro reel too. Yeah. Bet you you that thing up, it'll still work. Can we throw it on the bank over there until we get out? I don't know if I can make it. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, yeah, yes. score. So being a first time diver, one of the things that you really don't think about is your ears. Even in six to ten foot of water, it is very hard on your ears if you're not used to it. So you kind of got to figure out how to work your ears into the pressure that's being applied to them. It took me a few minutes and after a few minutes I got the hang of it. It's kind of about moving your jaw around and maybe blowing out just a little bit. And then you get used to it and everything's good. So once you get on the bottom, you really don't want to be coming up and down. You want to stay under as long as you can. This jug top is the first sign of something really good in the bottom of this hole. actually looked right over top of this bottle until Matt's light lit it up. It was like the heavens had opened up and showed me the bottle. It was pretty funny. That light made a huge difference on the bottom. I laughed at him when he said he was going to bring a dive light. He knows his stuff. I need a dive light. We got one. <laughs> that's cool, man. What, so that's... That's turn of the century. Turn of the century, 1900s. That's, that's, that's Hutch. Ooh. Hutch territory. Chattanooga Medicine Company. The other thing is just laying there waiting, waiting to be picked up. There's more in there. Yeah. Sweet. I'll stick it over here and we'll keep going, man. That's, That's right. That that we need to search right there super good because they usually catch in the same spot. Right. The 
The same principle applies on the bottom that does on the top while I'm creek walking. The amount of silt in the bottom can camouflage a bottle, so you're really looking for shape. You're not looking for color. So this entire time, that's exactly what we're doing. We're looking for the shape of a bottle, hoping that something will pop out and catch our eye. big things about diving is always being aware of your surroundings. As you can see here, there's large limbs and there's a bottle right below them. I grabbed the bottle, but I was very aware of my surroundings. All it takes is one time of your hose getting wrapped around a tree like this and you could be in a really bad situation. Thankfully, Matt was a good partner and pointed out a branch above. Deacon Brown, Birmingham, Alabama. Some of these have a date code. Right there, he's right there. There's a 12 under Deacon. I think that means 1912. What is that? 1912 Deacon Brown. Is that a good one? Yeah. I mean, it's not a, it's not a big dollar bottle, but it's a tall one. Usually, these are short. But we found it scuba diving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> so. It's cool, that one actually has the little date code stamp below the Birmingham, so you can see the 12. So yeah, that's 1912. I mean, you're still 108 years old. <laughs> still a great bottle. <laughs> Because at this point, I knew we had to be getting close to something awesome. It was just a matter of time. There's no way we were putting this much effort into not finding anything. That's an Alabama bottling company. Our works. Is it the company or the works? Flip it around. <laughs> That's the company. <laughs> Wait until that one was in there with that rust bottom for a little while. <laughs> I flew three <laughs> hours. <laughs> three hours and I thought it was a pipe dream. You told me about this. And I'm like, oh. So did you uh Oh, have you ever God. found a hutch before? I never found a hutch. <laughs> I never found a hutch. There you congratulations, man. That's killer. So that's what I found the medicine bottle about 20 foot back. We're in the same of them. Stopper in it or no? <laughs> <laughs> you got room in your carry on for it? I'll leave my bags here. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's the first diving hutch on this channel of adventure archaeology and on gone digging gone digging adventure archaeology ultimate collab like it, this is this is nuts man like you told me about this spot <laughs> and i was like he's found hutches above and below so we've got to dive it because they've got to be there but this thing it doesn't have any wear on it it hasn't been bouncing down the creek it had to have been dropped out of the bank then like i said i find them come out of the creek bank crystal clear and I found that whiskey jug back in February, right down there below that limb. Oh my so, God, dude. So if a whiskey jug can survive, then I mean, anything can. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's cool, man. That's awesome. So on the rare factor, it's not a super rare one, but it doesn't matter, that's this, amazing. This is absolutely priceless to me. Yeah, it's amazing. This is unbelievable. <laughs>
<laughs> then we gotta keep going. There's no telling what's over there. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have to stop laughing before I get back in the water. <laughs> Dude, that's killer. Hey, um, is the blue three worth it now? Yeah. You would have seen it with the blue three. Yeah, we were just in two different spots. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you. The light's this, helping. This light, I don't know if you're interested in it, but this I don't, Oda Pro light, fantastic. Um, uh, Oda Pro D2000P. Yeah, yeah, it's a 2000 lumen light, and for these, this combination right here, off the charts. That was killer. And for those wondering how I'm diving, there's the blue three behind me. So it's, it's, it's going on down the road falling behind me we need to check the battery we've been what down what 25 minutes maybe yeah tops that's probably one of my favorite days just because of the way we found it <laughs> it it takes extreme measure to go out and find treasure <laughs> like people people don't understand like what we go through to find this stuff and uh it really does take absolutely extreme measure to like to go to places where people haven't gone before. No one's ever done this. And to dive with copperheads and water moccasins and alligator gar. Who cares? And, and avoid the lightning storms that we've been hearing thunder in the background. That's cool, man. Let's find some more. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> Right, guys we just got out of the water we had a good day there was a lot more trash we threw it out on the way out but this is what was left in matt's pouch that he pulled out of there that hutch is the find of the day guess what no more hutch dry spell if only we could have found that jug hole right that jug it would have been super <laughs> super cool it was awesome we saw some big fish he saw a catfish i don't know do you think you got that on camera no that thing was tucked up underneath the log and he was not wanting to have his picture taken so oh man we forgot the fish pole we're gonna go back and get the fish pole oh, we'll get the fish yeah pole. we got we're about to walk back down there and do a creek walk so yeah we had a good day my two bottles that i found over here that's a 1912 deacon brown the tall variant that chattanooga med and the hutch we came what we found what we came for and then we found some more so now we're gonna go out on a second adventure and hopefully get another video we'll catch you guys in the next adventure